Welcome to the second part of the first DFO webinar on IT skills, in which I'm going to show you how to set up a simple email account. There are many different types of email. Services such as Gmail and Hotmail store your mail online, and you can access them through any web browser. But I'm going to set up an email account which is quite common in small businesses, which store their own mail, and that's called a POP3 mail account. In this type of account, you can see that your computer sends mail through one server and receives it from another. The four pieces of information that you need are the address of the outgoing server, the address of the incoming server, and the username and password. In our example, all of which are shown here. Yours will obviously be different. A popular and free email client is Thunderbird. Let's download it and install it. I'm going to install it with all of the default options. Thunderbird will try and configure the account automatically, but in this case I'm going to stop it and enter the details by hand. In this next screen, we can tell it that it is a POP3 account and enter the incoming and outgoing mail server addresses, as well as the username, which is the last of our four pieces of information. It's come back with a warning that this email is not encrypted, and that is correct on this account, so we can check the box. And Fred's email account is set up. The first thing to do is to send an email to yourself to confirm that everything is working. It will take a few seconds to get through the outgoing server and back through the incoming server. And there it is back again. Pressing Control N will create a new email. Every program that's capable of creating anything will probably do so if you press Control N. Similarly, if you make a mistake, you can usually undo it by pressing Ctrl Z. You can press Ctrl Z several times if necessary to undo multiple mistakes. If you've done something that you want to repeat, then the key to repeat an action is usually Ctrl Y. If you press Ctrl Z by mistake, then press Ctrl Y to repeat what you've just undone. Other shortcut keys are Ctrl P which sends something straight to print using the default settings, and Control A, which selects all of the text in a document or email. If you really want to impress your friends, in the UK, 
pressing the Alt Graphic key with the number 4 produces the Euro sign. Let's send Fred one last email with an attachment and a hyperlink. We can attach our logo and suggest he looks at our new website. Select the text which will be linked to the website and insert a link. and off it goes. I hope that's been useful and convenient for you and you will watch the next webinar in the series which will deal with how to turn the tide of paperwork that's building up on your desk and the best way to store information so that it can be used to build relationships with your patients and improve productivity. My contact details are on screen you're very welcome to get in touch if you have any questions, suggestions or comments. Don't forget to refer a friend using a hyperlink to uk-dentistry.org where you will find details of all of our webinars. Thanks for your time and attention.